everyone and welcome to the NewTek TriCaster TC1 Get Started Training. In this video, we'll be taking a look at macro automation. Now, macro automation is programming the TriCaster to perform a set of predefined actions. Everything on the TriCaster can be automated using macros. So let's go ahead and create one real quick by clicking macros at the top left corner of our screen. Configure macros and we'll make a very basic macro that we're just going to call lower third macro. So what we'll do now is we'll click record and now we are recording the actions being taken on the TriCaster. So what I'm going to do is bring DSK2 to program and then take it off. I'll go ahead and stop recording and let's play that back real quick. So keep an eye on your program window. And here comes a lower third. And there it goes. Now we can edit this by clicking edit and from here you can see all of the different options available to us. So right now there's a little bit of delay and let's go ahead and make that just a bit longer. 300 and we'll hit play. Here comes the lower third. And there it goes. Now let's set a way to activate this macro via triggers. So we'll click trigger one and now it is listening for a command from us to trigger that macro. I'm just going to use A on my keyboard and now Whenever I press the A key on my keyboard, it will fire off this macro. Now you can additionally add another trigger using the control panel. So we'll use number three here. And on your control panel, click macro and any button. And now all I have to do to trigger that macro is either press A on my keyboard or macro one. And here comes our lower third, and there it goes. Now there are several ways to trigger macros without using keyboard shortcuts. For example, on every input, you can trigger a macro using state changes or hotspots. Macros can also be triggered when an audio input reaches a certain threshold. Another way to trigger a macro is by right clicking on a clip in your media bin, selecting automation, and you can assign it to whenever a clip starts or finishes. Now this covers the basics of automation, but there's a ton more that you can do with it. You can find out more about macros in the automation and integration guide on our website. In the next video, we'll be taking a look at output signals, including SDI, NDI, streaming, recording, and publishing.